Jesus Christ is coming back again. 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 Coming back again. Hi, YouTube. This is um, naturally for us coming to you. Uh, this is my first video. And um, I've been so excited to start it off. Um, my natural journey, because it has really been awesome. Um, the reason why I wanted to become natural, it wasn't just for myself, but it was for my grandchildren. I was, um, I had my hair, um, when you, become natural is really an emotional thing for a woman. I just want to put that out there. And so when people come at you negatively, I was seeing on you know a lot of different videos, you know, that's not good because it's an emotional thing because of I say, because of my brainwashing with my natural hair. Okay, I'm fifty eight years old and um, this is the longest I've ever had my hair in its natural state. I'm going on six months now. I think I started in July. June, July, yeah. July is when I um, stopped uh, working at uh, a school here in Los Angeles or in California. So um, I was watching the kids and their hair was so beautiful and I was like, wow, in its natural state. And then I would ask them, okay, I'm pressed. That's how I normally wear my hair because I couldn't wear perm because my hair uh, would fall out as soon as I, a perm hit it. You know, it would fall out. It wouldn't have no more hair. And um, so um, that's how I permed and colored. Can you imagine? From uh, YouTube, I'm just now learning that uh, dye is a chemical. So, so anyway, um, you know, I would ask even beauticians, how do I get my hair, you know, even in locks or anything like that? Or, I want to get my hair like yours. And one of the young ladies said, your hair won't go like mine. I'm like, what? My hair has just been pressed, you know. It goes back to its normal, you know, its... Um, uh, natural state, I thought, until um, this um, uh, six months has really taught me that it just won't go back into its natural state after you've put all those different chemicals and pressing, frying it, and dyeing it. <laughs> That's what I was into. That was my addiction. I put it like that. <laughs> that was my addiction. So anyway, um, Getting back to like my grandkids and I and my granddaughter, I want her hair is so beautiful, but she, but she told me she said, Grandma, um, you know I have to go through what you went through, but I don't think so. I would love for her to, you know, just uh, because I love my grandbaby, and I would love for her just to go through life in her natural, with her natural hair. I remember I was uh, walking in the um, mall, and I spoke to this young lady, and um, I don't know if I offended her or whatever. I was, she had her hair in locks, and her hair was long. It was so beautiful, and I said, "Your hair is beautiful." And she looked at me. And she said, "My hair has been natural since, uh, you know, I've been natural like all my life." And I was like, "Okay, <laughs> you know, cool, okay." But I'm just saying, you know. That is, you know, and maybe I offended her because, you know, I guess she looked at my hair. Okay, this right here is my first uh, twist out. Okay, so this is what I wanted everybody to see. This is my first twist out. And how does this look? Because um, I love the young lady. Her name is Nausea Face. Okay, I'll be uh, talking about, you know, others, but... She's the first one that made me feel that I could go natural. And with all her ups and downs and everything. Because uh, I remember I went to the um, beauty supply place to, you know, trying to find a, a magical uh, 
conditioner that would make my hair lustrous and beautiful, you know, again. And um, I knew nothing about hair condition. Can you imagine? I was paying 70 you know, with the tip to the beautician. Okay, that's another story, but I won't even go there. And she was in condition, or they was in conditioning my hair. But I didn't know that I needed to sit in condition for, um, oh, you know, um, hours because of the bad shape my hair was in. Can you imagine? I'm 58 years old. I've been having my hair. My mother was a beautician. When I was a little bitty girl, she, that's the first thing she would do is fry my hair. I was, so I can't talk about beautician. That's how my mother made her money, okay? But I'm just saying, uh, back then, we knew nothing about conditioning your hair and sitting up under a heating cap, and I would be doing a whole bunch of those videos, washing my hair, showing you what I do, and everything like that. And I'm going to be uh, using henna, and I have uh, a natural pro uh, product here. Because I got it from the health food store. So I'll be going into all of that too when I do that. Uh, you know, I want to uh, video that and show you the results. Because I've been finding out. Okay, this one says for um, uh, color the gray hair. Because I have gray hair. And I'm telling you, gray hair is different from your natural hair. So uh, don't be, uh, how could I put it? Your day is coming. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Your day is coming. So you might want to, you know, look for 75. Because I know I've seen a lot of young ladies. Maybe I have, you know, I haven't seen all the YouTube uh, older women. But i seen one. She was coloring her hair with uh, a product yesterday. Uh, I don't know, you know, how long this tape is going to be on. But anyway. But anyway, I was uh, watching her and she was coloring her hair with a product and I don't, I didn't write it down because what I'm trying to do, and I don't know if I'm going to be successful, but to use all natural products on my hair. I might not be success successful because still I haven't got into, um, what do you call it, the, uh, the uh, leaving my hair in its natural color. Okay, I'll put it like that. So, anyway, <laughs> um, what I'm... Um, I want to do is, like I said, make, uh, you know, other videos and everything. And I am just really excited because I would love to, um, okay, just show you really now how I normally wear my hair. I just wear my hair in the fro for now. And like I said, I've only, this is how I do. Okay, and normally um, I don't put anything on it after I, that night, put all my, um, uh, uh, what do you call it? Conditioner, leave-in conditioners and stuff. And I've even made up some of my own, which I'll be talking about later. But this is how I normally wear it. Now I'll just start at the ends, which I've learned from YouTube. And none of my hair comes out, which is so good because, like I said, oh, I forgot. The lady at the beauty supply place she told me she said she touched my I let her touch my hair and when she touched she said she said my hair wasn't that bad when I was in the hospital and I was in a coma can you believe that that's what the lady this is me. the finished results when I this is how I go out of the house okay and sometimes I'll push it back and make a little bun in the back and then put a scarf around it and, and some of the uh, twist outs I have warm out, but not like I had it at first. Okay, but this is normally how I normally wear it out. Okay, I'll turn to the side. And it was a young lady, she was saying how she don't, she, you know, you can't get your fro perfect. But you can almost get it perfect, you know, if you keep working at it. Okay, so this is normally how I go out the house. And I'm just loving it. So this is it. And I just thank God for YouTube that I'll be able to speak to all these beautiful women. Even if you have your hair pressed or um, perm, just condition it like they were saying. But anyway.
God bless you. And this is natural before us. Bye.